Good afternoon. This is Kathleen at My Alabama Farm Life, and today we are starting radishes from seed. And these are not just any radish. This is the watermelon radish, and I'm really excited to get it into some soil and see how well it grows. I am a big fan of radishes and I grow them all the time, but this is a different type of radish, the watermelon radish. It looks just like a watermelon. It's actually very pretty, but it also has some amazing health benefits. Radishes can help in detoxification. It can help in weight loss. It helps with stress. It also says that radishes can help treat the skin along with a bunch of other great benefits. But again, you guys need to go do your own research and find out what a wonderful vegetable this is. Now, I like to eat my radishes raw. I chop them up and put them in the salad. And you can even eat the greens, but I'm not a fan of the greens. So those all go to my bunny rabbits. Every time I pick a radish, I get half and the bunnies get the rest. All right, so let's get some seeds started. I'm gonna grow my watermelon radishes in a container. Um, after reading some of the instructions, I realized I may have made a mistake. These radishes are part of the daikon radish family and they're pretty large. And I'm used to growing these smaller radishes, but I'm gonna go ahead and plant them and see how they do. And if I have to weed some out, I'll do that too. So these take a lot longer to grow than your average radish. These take about 65 days to the mature. And like I said, they're also probably triple the size of a regular radish. So this is gonna be a long process, but I can't wait. I'm also gonna probably leave at least one in and not pull it and let it bolt so that I can collect the seeds. These radishes usually have a little pod and you collect the seeds from the pod. So I can't wait. So this is part of a collaboration that I am doing with Grow Big TV. They are doing a contest to see who could grow the largest watermelon radish. And if you can grow the largest radish, you could win $100. Now, if you're not crazy about radishes, that's okay. There are other contests that you can enter. And let's go through some of the other items that you can grow. The vegetables that they want us to grow, the first one is watermelon, radish, and uh, those are pretty easy to find. I found my seeds on Amazon if you don't have them already in your, in your seed stash. The next one is the Detroit Red Beet Registration, and if you are part of the Survival Seed Challenge, you already have those seeds. They also are doing the Peter Pepper Challenge. The tomato challenge where they're growing the Dr. Waichi tomato, which is a yellow tomato, which is very interesting, but I already picked up my yellow tomatoes for the year and I'm going to grow those. So I'm not going to be in that contest. They are also having the biggest zucchini contest and the mammoth sunflower contest. And I'm going to leave the playlist in the description so that you can go and uh, find these videos and listen to the rules and what you need to do to join. So it looks like I've got a really good start on my radishes. It's only been a few days, but I already have two popping up. So I'm really excited. And I hope you guys decide to join the collaboration. All right, that's gonna be it for this video. You guys have a blessed and joyous day, and I will see you on my next video.